Hello, Steve. How are you doing? Good, Diego. Uh, how are you doing? I'm doing fine. Uh, today, like every other profile that we have made so far, we're going to be talking a little bit about uh, OpenShift. And the first question, obviously, is like, who are you and what do you do in the OpenShift team? And what else like, can you share about your role inside Red Hat? Sure. Um, I'm part of the uh, product management team. I work on developer experience and I'm also responsible for some of our, our hosted offerings like OpenShift Online and OpenShift Dedicated. Um, so I have a background around developer tooling, um, did a number of things around uh, integrating tools together as well as developing various products. Oh, that's 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 great. Uh, and well, like you can see here in, on the screen, you can find Steve on Twitter. So if you have any questions, uh, suggestions or just comments around OpenShift, like please go ahead and contact him. He's quite active there and he's usually sharing uh, all the content that we're having on, on OpenShift. So Steve, uh, tell me what's new with OpenShift. What, what's, what are we going to have in the following days? What can you share with us? Uh, sure. So uh, um, we're getting ready to, we're wrapping up right now our OpenShift Dedicated Early Access Program. And OpenShift Dedicated is about where we take uh, the OpenShift product and we host and run it for you. So we're your ops team. So you don't have to worry about the install, the configuration, maintenance, whatnot. And so uh, we'll be converting that into a, uh, a general available product where you can uh, purchase it and we can continue to run OpenShift based on the version three and actually the version three one uh, just came out uh, a couple weeks ago. And uh, so, yeah, so it's a great, uh, great opportunity to get up, get started quickly, uh, pretty low cost and have your own, you know, basically platform as a service to run containerized applications uh, with a very low uh, barrier to entry because you don't have to hire the ops guys, you, you know, procure machines, whatever we, we stand it up for you and, and you know, give you basically the, your URL and say, here you go, start start building and deploying applications. So pretty excited about that. Okay, well that's that's really good. I'm quite certain that a lot of our viewers are going to check that. You also mentioned something quite important uh, that it was uh, three one. That was kind of like one of the big news that we had last month. Uh, can you share with us? something that uh, around your work on 3.1, what's new, what are the new features, why someone would like to uh, try 3.1 three, three instead of 3? Sure, so uh, 3 came out with a complete uh, re rewrite, re-architecture. I think many people know about that. And so we spent a lot of effort in, in getting that right, nailing it. So we've done a lot of things to improve on that, including the consumability of it. So how, how the end user, a developer, administrator gets their hands on and gets started. And so you'll see some really nice improvements from you know someone who comes in and says, I don't know necessarily anything about OpenShift, I, but I know something about Node.js or Java, or I have code in hand, so what do I do to get that up and running? So we've done a lot of work there to streamline that process uh, and also to better organize the existing content. Like there's a lot of uh, images that are available or templates that you can use to get started. So we 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 actually modeled it off a lot of the usability work we had done in the version two product to take a lot of those lessons learned and applied it in the version three. Uh, we also have done a number of things in different clients as well. So you'll see the command line client has some nice capabilities where um, if you use some of the clients like get and you mistype something and it'll say, hey, did you mean this? Um, so now you'll see that type of suggestion capability in the OpenShift command line, which is kind of nice. Um, as well as some improvements around uh, the Eclipse plugin. So now you'll be able to even go with the Docker tooling that's in Eclipse. You can say deploy to OpenShift, um, which is a pretty cool feature, as well as just grab a uh, running application from OpenShift and say, you know, pull this down to Eclipse, and then it'll just set up your local Eclipse workspace or your project so you can start working on it locally. So a lot of good cool. stuff. Very excited about it. Yeah, and and you mentioned Eclipse uh, quite a lot. Is that is that one of the tools that you use every day? Or I'm just curious. Like uh, I would like to know, like someone that is actually working with OpenShift, making it grow. What what tools do you use? Uh, well, I come from a Java development background and actually developing on Eclipse, the Eclipse plugins and stuff. So I've got a rich background with that. So I tend to 
to use it a fair amount. Um, I have a mix of tools that I use. Um, I still uh, put dabble in Eclipse from time to time. Um, I've been experimenting with different uh, editors that are out. Adam, as an example, is what I've been using most recently. Um, so, and yeah, I think there's a lot of promise too what we see, and I think there's a recent blog post on some of the web IDEs uh, seeing a lot of progress in that area. Um, so you can see uh, Code Envy and Click to Cloud and, and some of those, uh, you know, the, the Code Envy work done on Eclipse J, which is, which is pretty cool to see where you can really get uh, up and running quickly, you know, never have to install anything on your machine. You can just go to the browser and do some stuff and you're, you're coding up Java, doing a fix and then watching it run. Oh, well, that's, that's really great. Uh, Steve, I know that you continuously work on improving uh, OpenShift and all the tools and all the experience for the users. So what can we expect for 2016? What are the, uh, well, the team, like what are the focuses that, that they have right now? Yeah, so there's a there's a lot of things that are, are are bubbling up to the top as being important, and and you can see, and I think there was a recent uh, webcast done that shows how we expose, you know, we 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 do uh, public development, so you can see everything we're doing as far as our Trello cards and whatnot, and even our plans and our roadmaps. And so within that, we're looking at a few areas that we think are pretty important. Um, some of them include uh, one is people have invested a lot in. Uh, their own build automation or continuous integration solutions or continuous delivery so how can we integrate better with that and they can then leverage OpenShift to either go from that war ear file in the java world um, to break baking into a some type of uh containerized application image that they can be built, deployed and then uh or built and then deployed within OpenShift. So we're looking at a number of solutions there or ways to do it simply from a command line. You know, you have a war built locally from whatever Maven tools you might, and you just may say, you know, hey, uh, build run this this war file, you know. So, um, so a little bit more involved with, you know, leveraging existing um, build automation tools that are out there and investment a lot of customers have had today. Um, some other areas around when you look at uh, the focus around uh, DevOps thinking. Um, there's a lot of great capabilities that a tool or product like OpenShift provides to that type of, uh, that way of working and thinking. And so we're trying to bubble up some of those concepts um, to a better user interface and also a way to connect it throughout the product. So you can go from first seeing the change or inception or something that caused uh, the product or application you have to change to see it throughout the, the life cycle of it and then deployed at the end and and you know the, the entire you know some folks call it the continuous delivery pipeline so building on some some of those concepts um, uh, as well as um, and just the overall continuous improvement of of how we're doing builds um, leveraging uh, the the uh, advancements that are coming in security improvements uh, and the build docker based builds um as well as um there's a lot of work going on around how applications are deployed through through templates or you how you package together if we'll say microservices and deploy them um and so there's a bit more working a bit of working going on with in openshift origin community as well as in kubernetes to to bring together those concepts as well just hey, to well. name things yeah just a few. Oh, and I, just should, a few. <laughs> I should add, we've also done some work to uh, provide a Jenkins image in the 3.1 release, and it provides some sample scripts, jobs of how you can, you know, do do builds, promotions, deployments, et cetera, from within uh, Jenkins. We're doing some additional work to uh, be a first-class plugin. So in the, instead of just showing you how to what command line to run, we'll actually provide a better experience within the Jenkins plugin, as well as a way to run your Jenkins slaves within OpenShift itself. Well, it seems that you have a lot of things to work on and uh, I'm quite certain that all the developers are going to appreciate all the work that you're putting there. Uh, anything that you would like to add, any parting words uh, to the developers and all the viewers that you may have with this video? Uh, yeah, um, one, um, I'd like to say I'm doing all the work, but there's a lot of uh, developers out there doing the hard work and a lot of the community members. So I'd say get in, there's a lot of folks if you're, if you can go out there and get in, involved, get your hands on the product, you know, we we will be working on a, 
a way to make it easier to get your hands on the product. I mean, right now there's a beta of the container development kit, which will have uh, OpenShift involved in it. They are included in it, which you can uh, download and run. We're looking in 2016 as well as, as we can move our online platform from version two to version three. So keep an eye out for that. Um, we'll run some early access programs like we did with Dedicated. Um, yeah, continue to to give feedback on the mailing list on IRC on Trello. You know, we look for for feedback there. Um, there's other ways that you can get the product going easily. There's Docker uh, images of the product of, of origin, like the upstream, where you can easily um, get your hands on it and play with it a bit too. So, uh, can so there's a lot of great things going on. It's hard to summarize all of it. Um, so keep. Keep uh, getting your hands on the product and uh, keep looking for, for feedback. Well, I appreciate all the time that you spent with us and quite likely many developers are going to be looking into that. And well, we're going to have a lot of things to share with everyone in the community in the next year. So looking forward to that. Thank you very yeah, me much. Me too, I'm really excited.